Display. 3D piano kits allow visual as well as aural composition. By the way, if you haven't clicked a piano, go ahead and click one of these colored cubes to make sure you can hear things. Good job. Thank you for your accompaniment. <laughs> this reminds me of high school band. This display shows the use of 3D piano kits built in Firestorm. Sound files are uploaded from a music annotation program and played using a simple touch script. The image on the left shows kits using traditional black and white piano keys to play custom 12-tone, 6-tone, and 8-tone scales. These custom kits play correct scales but their color coding obscures their differing pitch functions. The image on the right shows a 3D piano kit whose keys have been color and size coded to represent scale modes such as minor and mode, major, and note functions such as root and neutral. The image also shows using the piano kit simultaneously in Firestorm while composing in a music program. 3D piano kits can be extended to help work out dramatic interval changes, as illustrated by the three octave kit in the front of the display that you've all been clicking on. If you haven't tried it yet, try the bottom of the scale on the top. There you go. Please follow me to the next music in 3D display. sit here. Orchestra kits allow live group interaction. We've already introduced the idea of a 3D orchestra kit with synth, which you're hearing now. Somebody's found the synth. Drum kit and piano. The image on the left shows the anatomy of five musical scales. We'll be playing the ones in the upper four rows. Here's a quick overview. Click orange if you want to feel grounded. Click blue if you want to set a mood. Click gray if you want to strike a balance. Click pink if you want a call to action. Click green if you want to float above it all. The image on the right shows the anatomy of a drum kit. Here's a quick overview. Click kick if you want to set a beat. Click symbol if you want to catch attention. Click hi-hat. Someone else found the choir synth, by the way. Good job. If you want to accent something. Click snare if you want to syncopate the beat. And click the tom. You hear it now? The tom. If you want to change things up. <laughs> Please follow me to the center of the circle stage live from INP. Mm. Guys are having a hoot. Okay, into the center, into the center of the state. Center stage, all of you, you, you rising stars. Circle stage. There are four separate orchestra kits here. Please pick one and walk over to it now. I will wait. Pick an orchestra kit and walk over to it. There are four of them. I will wait. There you go, there you go, there you go. Keep on going. Lucia, are you okay there? Okay, Eileen's got her own. Good job. <laughs> Good. In a minute, I'll have you start playing, but here's a few tips. When you pick an instrument, rings, circles, or cubes, it doesn't matter, it's all good. To play the instrument, just click an object. I figured you figured that out by now. You can click more than once to stack the sounds, to repeat the sounds. The closer you stand to it, the louder it sounds. The further away you stand, the softer it sounds. If you're playing the drum, your job is to set a beat, any beat. If you're playing the keyboard cubes, your job is to improvise a tune, any tune. 
When playing the synth rings, your job is to set a mood. Any mood. If possible, try to listen and play at the same time. The group will go in and out of synchrony and it will be awesome. And now, as I kiss my agenda goodbye, I give you this count to begin playing. A one, a two, a three, go! Okay, let's try something. And everybody who's playing keyboard, click on the orange. Click on the orange over and over so you can hear everybody clicking at orange. Good. Anybody who's kicking, uh, playing the drums, click the pink circle. Click the pink circle together and see if you can click it with each other. There you go. Okay, now I need, I need a volunteer to start playing the gray cube. Half of you play the gray cube. There you go. Play the orange and the gray. There you go. And then uh, who's ever playing the drums, half of you start playing the, uh, the blue drum as well as the pink. There you go. Okay, it's time to get a little moodiness in here. Some of the keyboard players, play some of the blue cubes, please. There you go. If you play the orange and the blue against each other, you'll set a mood. And the drummers, if you play the pink and the blue against each other, you'll set a syncopated beat. Hello, Ellie. Okay, now the synth players, it's time for you to chime in and click that top ring. We need a little bit of choir synth up there. The, the orange top ring. There you go. And then the other half of you, try the, the pink ring. It'll give us a nice contrabass. All right, there you go. Now, I did mention that my agenda went bye-bye at this point. So Eileen, I'm gonna invite you to say when you wanna do Q&A or wrap up or whatever, but uh, I'm having a blast listening to you all play. So just have at it. By the way, you can also hum and sing. <laughs>